Hi. While we're trying to wrap this session up, you might even notice that behind me there's a box. I've actually been wrapping up my whole office. As soon as session's over, we have been instructed that we have to vacate our offices. We have to pack everything up, store them in our homes. Uh, the furniture will be stored someplace, I guess. I don't know quite where that'll happen, but we are really going to be leaving the capital for an entire year. So you've been reading in the press about should there be a Senate office building? Should this happening be happening? But actually it really is happening and so um, I'm glad to get organized and be ready to go when the session's over. So this is kind of a waiting game. I spoke last week about the bills we heard on the Senate floor that have now been moved into conference. However, you can't really come to an agreement around a bill without knowing how much you have to spend. And our legislative leaders, along with the governor, have not come to any agreements with regard to budget numbers. So while we did meet, for example, in my higher ed conference committee, we met with the House to review the two bills, there's really no point in meeting after that because you can't agree with what's going to go in a bill unless you know how much you have to spend. So it's kind of like going shopping without having any money in your purse, you know, you just wouldn't do it. So uh, <laughs> I, I don't have much to say with regard to the big picture other than uh, please contact your House and Senate uh, members, if I'm not yours, uh, to let them know where you stand so that we can make sure to put together a budget that reflects the values of those we serve. And then finally, uh, we have spent several hours debating the license plate readers as well as the body cam issue. You know, should in fact we have our police officers be wearing body cams so that events are recorded and there is some visual history. And after the you know national events that have really torn the fabric of our communities apart, um, I have heard from our law enforcement officers, the chiefs of police from both Minnetonka and Plymouth, asking us to pass both these bills. So I stood up on the Senate floor today and spoke on behalf of uh, them. I am their voice here. And you can, if you read the newsletter, you can link to uh, my floor comments there. So we'll include a survey so that you could have a chance to, if you were gonna be the legislative leaders who settled on the higher ed number, which is the one I have responsibility for, the survey will ask you, uh, where would you land? So I look forward to hearing your response on that. Have a great, safe, and happy, healthy weekend.